Sanbonani. Our theme for today is listening in the family life, listening in marriage, and also listening above all things the word of God. In the gospel of today, Jesus makes yet another miracle where he heals a man who was deaf and also had a speech impediment. That shows us that Christ himself had an intention that we may be able to listen to him and to listen to one another. One of the things I've discovered about listening, especially here at home, listening to Keleto, listening to my partner, is that I try not to listen just in Jay, but I listen with my full being. You know, active listening is very really important. Why I'm saying active listening? At times, I can be I can be listening just to be able to respond back. Or I just listen, just already I'm having my preconceived ideas about what she's telling me. But that's not the right way of listening in a family structure. In a family structure, a person needs to be actively present. You listen, not only to respond, but you listen to understand. Listen with empathy. Listening also with the heart. Listening to the unspoken words. And hence, it's important for a person to know his or her partner, know her body language, know also the unspoken words. The tone itself will tell you the different tones in what we say. Your partner will see her when she's not happy. You will see her also when she's oozing with happiness that today this person is happy. I wonder what's happening. And never force a person to talk. Give them time so that when they are ready, they'll be able to talk. One thing I've realized, this does not just happen automatically, but it takes time. Wisdom comes with time. It's not a one-day thing. Know your partner. Know her body language. Know her tone. Know also the way she starts to talk. The only thing you need to do is to listen. Don't be haste to answer. Don't be haste to make judgments, but just listen and listen with your heart. What do you think? I fully agree. 